what is going on guys i'm Balkan playing fishing planet going after another unique fish and today my target is the striped bass at san joaquin delta i want to catch me some unique striper and i know i can do that in many ways so please stay tuned check out the description for more information and timestamps this way you don't have to watch the whole thing you can just go to the part you're interested in i like the nighttime fishing for stripers because I can go from night to night without any cooldown and to be honest with you guys all hours work with best results in the peak hour so over here for instance it will be really at the peaks here the last two hours over here these two hours and over here you have like a nice two three hours but I have to say that I've tried it and um, I can also catch even here at the very lows uh, where it's between 9 and 11 I can still catch unique stripe bass it's just not as um easy it's just uh, less bites less fish in general during daytime i would say that i've tried only this weather here for sure several times five to nine o'clock and i tried a little bit of the sunny day now the sunny day didn't work in the morning for me maybe it was just my luck but it's worth trying during peak hours in the day and maybe it will work out for you guys but that's on the hours and now i'm gonna go check out my setups uh, because I can catch it on a bottom float and lure fishing, I'm gonna show you guys three different setups here. This is my bottom fishing setup. It's way too much power on it, not really necessary. That's a 27, 26 kilogram setup. I would say anything uh, like 15 kilograms and up, it should be okay. With 20 kilogram setups, I feel very comfortable. There is not much of a fight at all, actually. So over here, a very strong setup. The important part is this here the hook size which is a i would suggest anything between four five and six octopus they all work with six catching bigger fish but less fish in general and four catching more of a mix but um uh, in general the fish is smaller so yeah and it, there is always the rng involved in all that on the um leaders fluorocarbon leaders and mono leaders they both work and the, the, the length on it doesn't really matter, I've tried anything between 50 and 200 centimeters and they work. Uh, also the sinker, I have a normal sinker and as you can tell a camouflage sinker, again both work. I couldn't really tell the difference um, to be honest with you guys. And then um, this is my float setup, very similar to the bottom setup, the only difference here is setting up the the depth so i like it anywhere between 6 60 centimeters and 110 centimeters where 110 will be more like acting like a uh, bottom fishing because it's gonna hit the bottom and that's okay i can still get uniques like that it just kind of anchors the the bobber doesn't move too much left or right kind of sits on one place which is something i like and then lastly over here i do have the um, lure setup this is the weakest of the three it's a 20 kilogram setup and um, again the important part is most probably just the lures i'm using and to be honest with you guys all kinds of lures uh, work for me crankbaits medium spoons uh, jerk baits a shot with a jig head um, i mean i'm forgetting now and so what i what i decided what i decided to do is actually have a uh, compilation at the end of the video with screenshots only not the whole fishing just screenshots of the fish holding the fish so and this way you can see at the top right corner what lure was used also the time the the size of the fish that kind of stuff so um yeah you can see that part and uh yeah a lot of stuff works that's all i'm gonna say so let's do some fishing i'll be fishing over here guys casting it this way so i'm gonna grab my boat from here from this middle dock drive up up here get off and yeah just start casting it over here you will see what it looks like so um it's very very close just taking the boat if you don't have a boat kayak or whatever you have i just have to reach my destination it's a little bit here to the right there you go and this is where i'll take i'll get off my boat and i'm gonna get to this point here where i can set up a uh, my rod stand and i'm gonna start casting it this way guys so you can see there isn't much of a um it, it's kind of narrow and with the lure fishing i'll cast it as far as i can but for everything else so let's see i'm gonna try this setup with uh, 200 uh, centimeters lure on it 
and I'm gonna cast it about 35 meters out. This is what I wanna do. I'm doing this during day hours on a cloudy day at five o'clock. So just it's a little bit more visible. You can see it's a one meter depth on it. I'm gonna also cast my um, bobber setup. Now I have this set at 110, and like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast it again, very same spot. Just place it there, and it's gonna sit without really moving too much. And and then I'm also gonna try this particular crankbait. I already have a see. There is already a fish on it. Right, I'm waiting for the fish to run with it and then I'll pick it up. Come on, there you go. That's a decent fish, it could be just a trophy, let's see, might be. Oh, all right, I like it. slowly lifting it up here you go a 20 kilogram unique it took me exactly 20 minutes in the morning here guys and um, it hit on the uh, bobber so the bobber was the first one to get the unique but like i said bottom and lure fishing and um, bobber fishing they all work it's very very uh, repetitive i'm just gonna cast it again here and I'm gonna include some highlights of using different different lures, different styles of retrieving it, straight retrieve, um, twitching and stop and go so you guys can see it all works. But that's it really, give it a shot, this spot is very very good, experiment with it, it's, it's worth experimenting just because it's very forgiving, you can catch a lot of uniques here, drive pass. That's it for me guys, I'm Vulcan, stay safe, cheers. I'm out.